Have you ever wondered about those that live amongst the stars? What kind of beings are they? What kind of lives do they lead? What kind of power do they possess? Some might fear them as monsters. Others would worship them as gods. Yet, there's no denying that there are higher beings in this world, known as Aeons. Celestials blessed with the power to twist the very fabric of reality. Yet, each Aeon can only influence one single part of reality. Like how the Greek god Poseidon is bound to the sea, or how Hades is bound to the underworld. So too are Aeons bound to an idea. Land bound to hunt. Yausha bound to abundance. Clefot bound to preservation. These beings are neither good nor evil. However, if there is one Aeon that threatens the very existence of humanity, it would be Nanook. Bound to the path of destruction, he sees the universe as an error and civilization as cancer. He seeks to destroy every single part of the galaxy, and does so by spreading seeds of disaster called Stellaron. These Stellarons are dormant corruptions that can tear apart whole ecosystems and bring even the greatest of civilizations to its knees. Yet, in spite of that, is it poetry that one such Stellaron would turn against its own master and bring destruction to Nanook himself? Well, this is the story of one such Stellaron. Herta Space Station Once a storage facility that housed strange artifacts from across the galaxy. Now it doubles as a research station for the followers of the eccentric Madam Herta. It is here that our story begins, as this unassuming space station finds itself under the attack of monsters. These monsters, known as the Anti-Matter Legion, are notoriously dedicated to serving the Aeon of Destruction Nanook, but even for them, an attack of this scale seems needlessly excessive, almost as if someone was luring them into attacking. <laughs> seems I came at a bad time. No, no, I think you couldn't have timed it better. Under the chaos of the Legion's attack, two figures managed to infiltrate the space station. The first is a genius hacker from the planet of Punk Lord, operating under the moniker of Silver Wolf. As for the other woman, not much is known about her, outside the fact her name is Kafka and she likes coats. Both are wanted criminals that belong to a mysterious faction called the Stellaron Hunters. No one knows for sure why or for what purpose these people are collecting Stellaron, but if they were aboard the space station, it could only mean one thing. And sure enough, hidden deep within the recesses of the station, they are greeted by a familiar golden glow. How much does he remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Time to get up. Listen. In the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, 
Make one that you know you won't regret. Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Uh, who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Awakening from a daze, you find yourself greeted by a pair of friendly looking individuals who introduce themselves as March 7th and Dan Hung. March seems to be a bubbly girl with a good heart and a love for photography. Dan Hung, on the other hand, is much more cool and reserved, yet still a softie, even though he would never admit it. Both are here to aid and assist the space station from the Legion's attack, as well as rescue any stranded researchers they might find along the way, who they seem to have mistaken you for. As to who you are, well, there are infinite possibilities to that, such as a girl named Stella, or even a boy called Kalos. But, for the purpose of our story, we will simply be referring to this persona as the Trailblazer. With little time for pleasantries, the pair decide to guide the amnesic Trailblazer to the safe zone where the other researchers are, and along the way, they also manage to rescue the station's chief of security, a young boy by the name of Arlan, he earnestly defends people, even at the cost of his own well-being, which would explain why he needed to be rescued in the first place. Thank you. The newly formed party then battle the Legion's forces as they make their way through the space station, with the Trailblazer showing off a surprising knack for combat, making both Dan Hung and March doubt his post as a researcher. But despite the combat prowess, <laughs> Our motley band of heroes are rescued in the nick of time by Himeko, an adventurous scientist who encountered and repaired a stranded train in her youth. Now she ventures across the universe in that very same train called the Astral Express. This is an extraordinary locomotive that travels across the stars, blazing a path thanks to the lost Aeon Akivili. Both Mart 7th and Dan Hung are passengers aboard the Express, and the thought of traversing the galaxy and exploring its many mysteries stirs something deep within the Trailblazer's heart, but he's quickly snapped out of it. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. Whew. Asta's been worried about all of you. Come on. Projectile radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves! Asta, we're back! Lead astronomer of the Herta space station, Asta's inquisitive nature led her away from the comforts of a wealthy family, which apparently was more difficult than managing the currently under attack space station. The group take a moment to gather their bearings and assess the situation, but not even that moment of peace fully passes before the deadliest wave of the Legion's attack begins. <laughs> Take the express and leave. I'll stay. But... Let's go. <laughs> Once again, finding themselves faced with hordes of Legion forces, Himeko decides the best course of action is to rendezvous at the railway platform and take the Trailblazer along with them. She can't quite place her finger on it, but has a hunch that the Trailblazer might just be the key in repelling the Legion. Knowing better than to doubt Himeko, both March 7th and Dan Hung go along with the request as the group makes their way towards the Astral Express. However, no sooner than they arrive. Wait, march! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Get down here! Uh, careful, everyone! March! A 
was Lila. Uh, what happened? We must see the end of your story. Who is that? Reach the end of the story. <laughs> They're okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Is this... the space station? Hello there! For the second time today, the Trailblazer finds himself waking up in a daze aboard the space station, albeit with his memory a bit more intact this time around. The Anti-Matter Legion retreated after the Doomsday Beast fell, but there were still questions as to how the Trailblazer defeated the beast, or even what the golden light was that burst from his body, and it seems that the only person that has answers to these questions is Himiko. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. <sighs> I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Member number 83 of the Genius Society and master of the titular space station, Madame Herta is renowned for her many achievements including the storage of a dormant Stellaron, a Stellaron which is now apparently implanted inside the Trailblazer's body, and despite its destructive nature, his body has somehow managed to stabilize this ticking time bomb. As to why or how the Stellaron came to be a part of the Trailblazer is simply a mystery one that Herta is all too keen on investigating by making him stay on the space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option, the Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, I think you need a chance. A chance to discover just how different you really are from everyone else. Everybody keeps telling you how special you are and how you have a Stellaron inside you. But that's already plain as day to you. And no matter who tells you, be it me or Herta or anybody, it's not the same thing as feeling it yourself. You have to experience enough to know if you've gained or lost anything because of the Stellaron, and to know who you really are. Learn to control the Stellaron, and then you can control your destiny. The Stellaron might still be an enigma, but the fact of the matter is, it's a part of you. And you have to embrace this before you can move forward into the future. Again, something deep stirs within the trailblazer. Something that calls to him. The journey across the vast reaches of space. The countless stories of adventure yet to unfold. And the simple words that echo in his heart. When there is a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, do all the things that the algorithm likes, like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more from me, and uh, comment down below, that sort of thing. 
This video has been in the works for quite some time now and I'm so happy to see it finally done and dusted. Of course more parts are to come, Bellabog arc, Xianzhou Luo 4 arc, that sort of thing. So again, if you want to see those, be sure to subscribe. And with that trailblazer, may this journey lead us starward.